Welcome ladies and gentlemen, so today we've got some Batman news for you all. Uh, there's a few bits and pieces around here, some sort of confidence from Andy Serkis, then also some confusing reports with respect to, oh there's definitely another, oh, we're getting a sequel planned and all these other movies planned, whereas if, if, we, if we sort of go back through some of the history of this movie, uh, back in 2019 now, it was already stipulated that there was a three picture deal going. So I thought we'd just take a look at it all and just see how some of this stuff is new. Great. Sounds really positive, actually. Really, really very exciting stuff for the Batman, um, a movie I'm personally looking forward to. But then how some of this news seems to be recycled for some unbeknownst reason. So let's dive into that today, ladies and gents. If you are new here, please do hit subscribe. Please do hit that like button if you're enjoying this video throughout it. Also, just as a side note, if you want to support the channel further, uh, there is a way to do that. There's memberships open in the channel, description box, as well as Patreon, and you can check out my second channel. But let's dive into today's video. So first things first, look, the Batman will be a masterpiece, says Andy Serkis. Now, this is a recent interview. But there's another uh, interview with him where he said basically the same thing. Um, but it's good. It's nice. It's nice to hear it. Um, now, make no mistake, I'm not an idiot. I'm aware that a lot of this stuff will merely just be PR spin. Um, but it's still reassuring. It's still nice to hear it. It's nice to at least hear that actors are excited for the project that they're working on. Because they don't have to be. Sometimes actors do just come out and go, you yeah, know, I... Yeah, I'd rather not speak about it. Loads of people, in fact, do that quite often uh, when they've had a bad experience on the set. Now he says this. Uh, this is from The Hollywood Reporter. And he says, I'll tell you that it was fantastic being reunited with Matt Reeves, uh, producer Dylan Clark, and the VFX supervisor Dan Lemon from the Apes films. We had such a great time making it. And when it eventually comes to screen, Matt Reeves will have made another masterpiece film because he's super invested in it. But yeah, I've been forbidden, expressly forbidden, to talk about Alfred. Which, like, let's take a look at that anyway, for starters. So, he's worked with these people before, so he's definitely friends with them. So, he does have a bias to at least be positive. Like, I get that. Cool. Fine. Whatever. But he, he does make a note to say, hey, look, you know, Matt Reeves is invested in it. But he's also been expressly forbidden to talk about Alfred. And when we start to look at that, I'm like, okay, well, why? You know, what is it about Alfred that we can't know about? Because there has actually been an air of secrecy uh, about that character throughout the whole of all of this. There has been a secrecy uh, surrounding the Alfred character. And I find that to be quite interesting. I think that there's going to be something compelling there, at least in his characterization, how it you know, presents itself on screen. And if he's been forbidden to talk about it, when other people are able to talk about their characters, like I've got another video coming up soon uh, about uh, Zoe Kravitz's Catwoman. She's happy to talk about it. She's allowed to talk about it. Why isn't Andy Serkis allowed to talk about Alfred? Well, because it could be that there's something quite interesting there uh, in terms of how they're trying to approach that. Because uh, literally, everyone else is able to talk about it. Everyone else can talk about their characters, except for Andy Serkis, apparently. Um, now, like I said, this isn't new. He has come out and said something like this before. You know, the Batman's Alfred actor is confident that the movie will be amazing. Um, you know, uh, again, PR spin, I'm sure. But he says, I've been totally forbidden to speak about the Batman, of course. But what I will say is that I'm pretty certain Matt Reeves, who is a very dear friend of mine, and of course we work together on the Planet of the Apes movies, I know for a fact he's making a pretty amazing picture. I really think it's going to be special. Which, like I said, does just reiterate what he said before. And these are fairly close um, you know, interviews. This one was the 24th of September. This is a pretty recent one, uh, literally 18 hours ago, and that's when he spoke to... Uh, the Hollywood Reporter. But again, I still find it interesting that he is... Oh, well, one interview says he's expressly forbidden to talk about the Batman. I don't see why, because other people can still talk about it. Obviously, they're not going to reveal details, but they've revealed more than what he has said. Um, Andy Serkis has said nothing about Alfred, which is interesting. Now, we've got this piece of information. This is a rumour. But it was already confirmed... So this is the other part of this video where I'm just a bit confused by it. So the Batman, uh, Warner Brothers reportedly gives the sequel the green light. What? I'll show you. I'll show you the report from 2019, and you'll be like, "What?" Because I could. I could have sworn. Obviously, I cover these things quite a lot, and you know, I talk about this stuff quite a lot. And sometimes, if you don't cover something for quite a while, you think that you may have covered it, or you can just well, a bit of a deja vu sort of scenario. 
Now, here's the report. It says, there's no great surprise that the studio is keen to put the spotlight back on the Dark Knight. And scooper Daniel Richtman, who is definitely not the most reliable. And here, it just looks like he's confirming what's already been confirmed. And I'll show you that in a minute because it doesn't really make any sense. Is now claiming that a sequel recently received the green light. Batman on film claims to confirm the news, but until the trades weigh in with something a little more concrete, it's obviously best to take this with a pinch of so, salt. Just, I mean, this was reported way back here. Like, so this is a deadline article. I could, I, I swear, I heard this, I read this, and I was like, it's definitely been confirmed. It's definitely been confirmed already. And this was back in 2019, right? This is back in 2019. Warner Brothers has approved Robert Pattinson as the star of The Batman, the trilogy of films that Matt Reeves will direct later this year. So apparently it's, all, it's always been the discussion that there would be a trilogy of movies. That's always been the discussion. This was back in May of 2019. May, for goodness sake, 2019. Uh, I mean, well, it's, it's, it's good many years on from there, and now all of a sudden, oh, Daniel Richtman, the epic scooper, has confirmed that wow, a sequel has got the green light. When apparently that was already it was already up for discussion. Uh, it was all it was actually apparently according to Deadline, and this is what's interesting. So. Um, it says, Patterson is a strong choice. He certainly has been at the centre of a Zeitgeist franchise before in Twilight Saga, and he's used the time after to show his chops, blah, 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 blah. They've got to work out a deal that will clearly include options on at least two more films, but this is considered a formality and a drawn-out process. So it's literally, no, it's confirmed. Like, we're, d we're doing it anyway. That's what Matt Reeves signed on for. This is merely a formality. So we're, we're definitely making three movies. Whatever actor we get, we'll sign on for those three movies. Um, yeah, Reeves' film tracks Bruce Wayne in the formative stages of Batman, which is why they needed an actor in his early 30s, because they plan to do a few more movies. It's just so... Anyway, I just thought this was fascinating stuff. Like I said, Batman, relatively large news update, I guess you could say, um, and all just centred around, well, Andy Serkis's Alfred. Interesting, lots of confidence, says it's going to be amazing, a masterpiece. And then apparently scooper Daniel Richtman just regurgitating news from what well, two years ago top work there daniel rickman great stuff mate top top work anyway ladies and gents let me know what you think of this down below in the comment section if you're new here do hit subscribe cheers though take care